Hello and welcome to your pick a card reading today um, with the topic being what positive surprises are coming your way this week and I'm specifically asking about the next seven days from when you're watching this now we have three piles pile number one you have guidance is available to me now I know that angels ancestors and spirit guides are always at hand I do not walk alone it's quite a fresh energy with this it feels like it feels like um, the clouds clearing, something about, in the, in the tangible world, something about cl uh, clouds clearing, something clearing in your tangible world. So pile number two, I'm a light worker in disguise. I don't have to talk about it. I can just be it. And I'm getting this vision of like a child um, blowing bubbles and then popping them. So kind of having fun. So a childlike energy. Hmm. Pile three, you have... The more I honour my inner light, the more I brighten the world, I choose to shine. And I wonder if that has something to do with pile one, actually. So just go with your intuition on that. It's quite sunshiny. All right, I'll see you in your piles. Hi, pile one. So you've chosen um, this card here with guidance is available to me. I know that angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are always at hand. I do not walk alone. And your bonus oracle card is just say yes. Interestingly here, with your tarot cards that I pulled, I've just pulled them just to save time for us. There's a theme of number three, because we've got three women in this card, and then we have the three of cups, and then we have the three of swords, and then we have... The emperor which is number four so i'm getting this sense that with especially with the um intuitive the thing i picked up in earlier about this card where it feels like the clouds are clearing about um, around something in your tangible world i feel like the three of cups and the three of swords feels like a stagnant energy like you've been and i just saw a two one three on the clock um there's something that has been uh maybe at a standstill or not moving but now we're finding um, that with the Emperor card, we are moving on to the next phase of something. And I am getting uh, like small increments, so slow, slow movement. But what is what positive surprises are coming for you? Okay, so the first thing I thought as well when I saw the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords was perhaps, because this card always feels a bit gossipy to me, right? But we've got like a sun rising or a sun setting. So there could be something here where perhaps you have felt like people are talking about you um, around 300 on the clock. Maybe people are talking about you behind your back or and it's like gossipy energy. But And maybe the Three of Swords is indicating that there's some sort of um, painful experience around that. But I'm wondering here if with the Emperor, perhaps you have you have stood your ground on something and maybe asserted yourself or you have just shown up as the emperor where you're asserting yourself as who you are maybe you've kind of been practicing following your own guidance and um, now it's like it's paying off I'm getting that maybe that gossip that was potentially negative in the start maybe that's actually shifting and now it's becoming quite positive and I get that it has been quite painful because the three of swords this one's quite uh it just it just looks like like so I'm hearing something like life force energy, something about life force energy being kind of entangled or, you know, it's like there's still not quite a lot clear about this. So if you were drawn to another pile, there may be more information in another pile. I'm also getting that um, because there's not, it doesn't seem like there's heaps happening. Um, it is small movements. There's not a lot of information that I'm picking up on at the moment. Um, but actually just like this card you are going to get more and more information so it's you might get a little bit of insight to begin with and then that'll make sense and then you get another piece of information and that'll make sense and you'll be able to form a picture but what you're being asked to do is just say yes to the guidance that you've been receiving from your guides your angels continue to connect with them stand your ground there could be a bit of grounding work needed to be done here because we do have a lot of red, orange, and yellow, and also green and pink. So there's a lot of uh, self-love to be done here, I think. 
um, so if you if you feel guided to look into that, just um, something you can do that's really simple is if you're sitting there on the couch or if you're like in bed going to sleep, you can just place your hands on your heart and just and just feel the energy coursing through your heart portal and um, five one four on the clock. So that will bring that will bring in more self love. It just connects you to the energy. It's like an intentional thing. Your guides have actually been protecting you. I feel like you are this pink star here. And I feel like, and the same here with here, these ladies, or, or it could be three aspects of you. You have been protected. You've had this diamond pyramid over you. And you've been in this protective space. Okay, so your guides have been watching over you. They've been making sure all you need to do is ground yourself deeply with the Emperor. Stand tall, stand proud. And I think here, so uh, let's see. Something is coming to completion because we have 3 plus 3 plus 4, um, which is a 10. So something is coming to completion for you this week. And it's because you are continuing to say yes, you are following your guidance and you are, you're grounding something, something that if it hasn't already, it's going to grow quite tall and quite strong, but you do need to ground a lot. So the positive surprises is that if you have been feeling like um, There is going to be celebration coming because the Three of Cups can be about celebration with friends. It could be more um, social time. It is This card is overlapping with the uh, guidance with the angels and the ancestors and spirit guides. So there could be some kind of celebration where you're... I'm, he I'm hearing the word deliverance. Um, so there could be some kind of uh, event this week that takes place where you realize just how protected you were. And there's something about sevens and fours, because I just saw 704 and then 713. Um, Spirit, what else do we, can we get for pile one? Because this does feel a little ambiguous. Okay, so these cards were upside down, which was an accident to me, but not always to the universe, right? So, so two of coins or two of pentacles um, in reverse. And eight of cups in reverse. So anything that you may have walked away from some things. Or maybe you've been feeling out of balance. You're going to see the... You're going to see the benefits of having followed your intuition. Maybe things have felt really out of balance. Or maybe you're going to see that reflected in other people's lives. Because they didn't walk away from something, but you did. So there's something about that. I'll just get one more card and let's have them upright this time. <laughs> that was the Page of Pentacles. You really are being asked to ground something because that fell right on the floor and that's a pentacles card as well which is very in the tangible you're going to be starting a new beginning or a new um phase of what you've already been doing 858 on the clock and this this does require you to say yes to something you're being guided pile one to just follow your intuition, to stay grounded, make sure you stay balanced. Anything that is, um, you might need to eliminate a lot of the unnecessary a little bit more if that's not something you've already been focusing on. Continue to do the healing work around any um, pain that you might have, any hurts, uh, past energies. So there could be a little bit of a stubborn energy here. But you're just being asked to say yes to walk away from anything that is causing you to lose your balance or lose your focus. And uh, to find stability. Say yes to, st to stability. Stability. <laughs> I 
Ok, ki a todo ko esta, si ki esta, and dada si ki esto, so todo ko esta. Ok, so, um, yes, this is, this is a positive energy for you. It's very subtle and underlying, 10, 10 again. So something is coming to completion for you this week um, around lack of balance and um, uh, there's a definitely a, like a sharp, deep, painful emotional energy. So you're going to find closure on something this week and you're going to realize that the guidance you've been given along the way, though it may not have made sense to you at the time, just keep saying yes to the guidance that you're receiving and you need to you need to stay balanced in order to hear what that is. Perhaps get some time in nature. Um, I'm hearing face your fears as well. Um, just keep breathing and just and face your fears but ask your guides to just trust them that they are watching over you. Pile one, thank you so much for being here. All the best for your week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Pile two, welcome to your reading. You've chosen, I'm a light worker in disguise. I don't have to talk about it. I can just be it. Lovely. And your bonus oracle card is Mintakin, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. And we, it's interesting, we have a lot of blue. So there's a very calming energy in this reading. There could be something about the throat chakra or the higher heart. Uh, there's something about communicating or expression, but it's very calming. There is a very calming energy it's like i'm hearing self-acceptance so the positive surprise that's coming for you this week you had an extra uh, bonus tarot card but so we have the tower card then we have the eight of cups and the star which was hiding underneath the eight of cups and then your advice is the two of wands so that's quite contrasting in the color compared to the other the other three cards, right? So I feel like you guys have been through, there's been a dark time, okay? First of all, I want to mention that Pile 1 had the Eight of Cups as well, but it was a different Eight of Cups, okay? So if you feel drawn to Pile 1, feel free to check that out as well. And let us know how it resonated. So interestingly as well, the Eight of Cups here are broken, but the Eight of Cups in the other one, I wonder if I have it right here. Yeah. So that that was the eight of cups from the other, the other pile. Notice how the contrast in in these cards. It's not focusing very well. Anyway. So I'll just leave that there with you. But it's like you've been trimming away at things. You've been through maybe a spiritual awakening, or you've come to the realization of things that weren't working for you or you have realized that other people were trying to trim you down in a way and I'm getting here with the eight of cups the broken maybe you've walked away from something that you just felt was impossible um, it was immovable you didn't see any way forward with it and it might have been quite hard to, to walk away from something but you're actually going to realize that this is what actually brought you balance and this is the this is the reason why color has started to come back into your life. So it's like there's a there's a relief about it. I'm getting as well um, that you're learning to you're learning to I mean keep your cards close to your chest, but you're learning to just uh, honor where you're at and who you are and what you're doing without trying to get approval from anyone. Um, and you may be you may feel displaced like you don't necessarily belong here but maybe you're going to actually feel a bit more of that belonging this week and I'm getting that the sense of belonging that you that you will be receiving this week like in the next seven days is what I'm intending for this reading 14 14 on the clock so there is a time of change around you um, the sense of belonging is going to be something it's more of a knowing rather than a um, specific event or maybe event, an event will trigger it, but there's a sense of knowing that will come from this. Um, I'm getting sort of like maybe you're going to maybe you're going to release a heavy energy, and then you'll have this sense of peace afterwards. Um, but there's a sense of like healing from something that doesn't serve you, something that was hurting you, and then it's going to be replaced with this sense of healing, uh, the sense of yeah, sense of healing, sense of peace, sense of comfort and calm. Um, the two of swords is your advice. 
So keep making choices that are in alignment with your highest good. And you may find that choices that have happened in different places of your life will be converging. I love this card. It feels like um, like things coming back around. 15, 15 on the clock. Um, you're going to realize how loved you are this week. And you're going to see. It's like an energy. You're going to feel this energy of everything all coming together after you've done this big throw out of everything that doesn't serve you and I'm talking for you guys this is particularly about painful emotions because these cups are all broken so things that you are holding on to um, in terms of uh, limiting beliefs and emotions negative emotions uh, yeah self-sabotage is one thing I'm getting all these things that were actually hurting you because you decided to not move forward with those maybe you decided to release get some therapy or um, however you've chosen to release these things you're going to realize it's like you'll be able to see color again as a result of it and I've just seen 1606 so something is going to come together this week for you and I'm just hearing all the colors of the rainbow so there's something about um, it's it's just colors going to come out and you're going to maybe have a better sense of your path, of how you're moving forward. Maybe, maybe um, you've been really, you have been really in the dark actually, because all of these, like this card here is really standing out to me for you guys, pal too. It's like you've been so in the dark that all you have been able to see is pain all around you, because all these car, all these, all these cups. Um, it's like you've been walking on glass or something. Or maybe you felt like you've been walking on eggshells. That you're going to be feeling like you're going to walk on air <laughs> um, by the time this week is up. So it's a big time of hope. I feel like there's been a couple of events here uh, that have, or a couple of uh, situations that have contributed to this. I'm getting spiritual awakening energy. So it's like you're. This is just part of your journey, pal, too. This is just part of 1726 on the clock. I'm getting that um, you could be purging uh, karmic situations, things that um, maybe they've run their course, they've served their purpose, you've maybe learnt what you need to learn from them, and maybe you've been saying to spirit, like, I'm I'm done, like, I need, I need a break from this, or there's something about that you've been potentially feeling a, and I feel like a heartache for your your soul home but there's something about the soul here as well um, this is like a big this has been a, a big time of change for you so things are going to look up for you this week um, just keep keep doing what you're doing um, I think you know what you need to do it's just about Maybe doing it, letting go, just continuing 18, 18 on the clock, just letting things go that don't serve you anymore. And just um, maybe even there's a question that's coming to mind is if something that you're resisting letting go of, just continue to ask yourself, why do I not want to release this? What benefit does, does it have for me if I hold on to this? And I feel like some of you, this is just for some of you, there could be more information required about something that needs to be um, or something you feel maybe need to uh, need to let go of, but I'm, I'm not saying by any means to make any rash decisions. 18:54 on the clock, but um, I'm hearing put yourself first. So I'm a light worker in disguise. I don't have to talk about it. I can just be it. So yeah, you can just show up for you and do what you know is right. Um, uh, do what you know feels right for you. Uh, what serves your highest good. And, um, and things are going to look up for you guys. Thank you so much, Pal2, for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Pal3, welcome to your reading. You've chosen, the more I honor my inner light, the more I brighten the world, I choose to shine. And your bonus card is Leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. So this is a very, like, compared to the other two piles, this, um, this, reading has a lot more color in it and I feel like uh you guys are coming out of like you've you're you're looking the darker period the darker time period in the rearview mirror right you are 
you are now you've put things together you've started or at least you've really started to put things together for yourself um, so the situation or whatever is coming through for you the positive surprise that's coming through for you this week we have the four of swords and the ace of cups so I'm getting for you guys you are really focusing on self-love this week and you're choosing to pull back from anything that um, kind of dirties or muddies the water right so because we have this gorgeous lamb here four of swords and then we have the ace of cups so because you have chosen to prioritize your own like mental clarity you're like purifying your mind you're taking a pause to give yourself some extra extra love and tlc and you're clearing your mind as a result of it so it's that just pumping the brakes for just a wee moment to um yeah just really to clear your mind and find clarity so that you can begin again with something but you're prioritizing yourself as well and i'm getting here with all the self-love that you're pouring into you uh you are kind of filling you're filling your cup up so that you actually have the capacity or the grit or the uh the energy the stamina whatever it is for you in order to show up fully in your purpose or your job or just going to the grocery store you know just whatever you're doing the more you pour into yourself and the more you prioritize some rest and, and i'm getting that the self-love is the rest the rest is the self-love so it's kind of a cyclical thing or you know one pours into the other and the other pours into the one so that's really cool for you guys actually um if you can get some sunlight this week um maybe you're going to feel a lot more sunnier you're going to have a sunnier disposition uh, so that is really exciting for you guys your final card which is the advice is strength and it's interesting I feel like it's not necessarily strength sorry I feel like it's not necessarily advice about having strength strength <clears throat> I'm getting that it's more a reflection of your strength that you have been able to um, put yourself first and maybe 22 22 on the clock so it's like you're you are realizing that strength can be soft and and softness can be strength so it's having that balance between because you know if you're if you feel like you're pulled in all directions um and you start to if you if you don't catch it soon enough often you can feel we can feel um yeah pulled in all directions we can start to feel bitter if we're a real like if, if you're in that people pleasing I can't say no I need to keep going whatever the pressure is um, where you're not you're not actually resting for yourself and you're not doing you your life for you that bitterness can creep in really and there is a, a highlighting here that you are learning how to be strong and powerful in a really soft and gentle way that is a really beautiful combination of the masculine and feminine energies right and there's a sun in that one too plus we have a sun here and we have a sun here and then it's pouring into this so i actually wonder as well if you, if you have you have done such work on your mind um your beliefs your perception about yourself particularly and that's actually like you've you've emptied the cup of the old stuff and now you are pouring in all the good all the good juju kind of thing and I hope that makes sense um so there's definitely been a time of inner transformation purging of things that don't serve you um and getting a lot of rest so this week the positive surprises is, is that you you're going to be feeling a lot stronger in yourself because of the work that you're doing and I feel like it's going to be a lot easier for you to take the leap towards the things that you know are right for you but may scare you a little but you are you're kind of seeing this I feel like you're becoming really really balanced in taking these perceived risks um there is also a mention here about big time trusting your intuition continuously which I feel that you've been doing um but you see how she's standing on the edge here she's been kind of making a decision does she want to go does she not want to can she do it can she take the leap Yes, you can, because look, she's jumping and then the universe is catching her and helping her to fall or fly up, actually. Um, whichever way is really best for you, I guess. 
We also have the Sun and the Moon card. So there is, you're really coming into balance this week. So you want to feel, this week it's like um, what takes place on the inside is going to transform the outside of your world. And you've got that real strong balance now with the masculine and feminine. So you know how to rest, but you also know how to do your work. Uh, if that makes sense with just um, yeah, having a, a good work-play balance kind of thing. And I feel like because of the work that you've been doing on yourself, it's going to start taking shape in your outer world. And maybe even people are going to actually start recognizing or there's going to be some kind of recognition for just how strong you are i just felt something in my stomach there like oh finally i get the recognition so there's something about maybe you feel like you don't um like you are strong you are resilient you are good at things and you recognize those about yourself and maybe you recognize them even more because of the self-love you've been self-love work you've been doing but maybe you've been waiting for others to recognize this about you too and there is it, there's nothing wrong with wanting recognition it's just when it gets too much in the ego and that's what all we look for that um that it gets out of balance but i feel like you guys are really in balance this week and there may be um something that you are being guided to choose this week um i am getting the kind of energy of like an entrepreneur where you're the one creating the opportunity for yourself but it's, it'll be divinely guided. So you may be drawn to pile one. It may, you may have come from pile one. Um, but there's something here about being offered something from your higher self or from your guides. Like an idea or an opportunity. Something that you may have to create. Potentially. Um, that may be just for some of you. I'd love to know what you guys think if you pop that in the comments. Um, let us know what your experience is are like if you want to um yeah so you're, you're going to be whatever that might be it could be a new job but it could be trusting your intuition on something something that you may not have done before and it's going to have something to do with showing up more fully like shining your light but you, you will be doing it in a calm, balanced way. There's a real beautiful, calm, restful energy here. This card is making me think of um, Pile 2's first card. So if you maybe are resonating with all three piles, that, that would totally make sense to me. But, you know, obviously, if that's not, that's fine. <laughs> so you're realizing also with the number 11 with strength, you're realizing just how strong you are. I'm wondering if as well, if you've been through, I might have already said this, if you've been through a really challenging time, maybe you're going to actually get some clarity around something that's going to make you realize just how strong you are. So if that's you, well done, bravo, you've done incredible. Oh, pile three, any final messages? Let's just get one more card. Seven of Pentacles. Is there something that you've been wanting? Something that something of your heart's desires. Something that your heart has wanted for a long time, but you've just been maybe too afraid to take the leap, or you haven't felt ready, you felt underprepared, you felt underqualified. Um, there's something here about uh, maybe you've tried before, or there's kind of a longing, and you've been longing for the strength to do something, to take the leap. To honour yourself. Can we just get a little bit more information about that, please, Spirit? What is that Seven of Pentacles talking about? Five of Pentacles. So there's definitely been limiting beliefs around something. Seven of Cups. There's been illusions around it. Making a choice about... Doing something even though like you've been working on your limiting beliefs around something. You're walking away from something that doesn't serve you. There's a lot of moon coming out now. The two full moons. Something about the well. Hmm. Is 
It feels like with the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, there's something you've wanted to do but you haven't felt worthy of it or you felt like you haven't had enough resources. But if you look at the Five of Pentacles here, she actually does have a lot of pentacles. I mean, she's using maybe she's using them for all the wrong reasons. So maybe there's sort of like investing in the wrong things maybe and that's why it hasn't been working when actually you have a lot to choose from 30 30 on the clock you do have a lot to choose from i feel like you you are you're really good at a lot of things as well and maybe there's some things that haven't worked out and it's just a matter of figuring out um which thing clicks into place the most so if you have your hands in different honey pots, or if you know you got your, your eggs in different baskets, you do. I'm thinking of a work situation, for example, because because it's the seven of pentacles. It's it's a pentacle, so it's the tangible realm. It could be friends, relationships, work. Um, side note: if you've been seeing three one three, then this pile is definitely for you. Um, so maybe you have felt like something's not working. But your limiting beliefs are actually getting in the way of something. This has been an illusion. You actually have a lot available to you. But maybe you haven't had a firm foundation to stand on. Everything just being kind of up in the air. So there could be something about getting a bit more structured. You know, you've done the self-love work. You've had the rest. Um, now it's time to have some strength and and ground everything because she's she's up in the in the clouds she's above she's been actually above all her emotions so maybe maybe there's something about having been too like i'm not saying too emotional but maybe the emotions have been clouding um or keeping you from being grounded or being able to ground something we've got 32 on the clock there so there's something about using using this aspect to change something so you have a lot of options to you just need to ground it and there's maybe some distractions getting in the way and I think you know what they might be if there are distractions it could be things like I'm just hearing eating chips <laughs> that came from them not me <laughs> um, there's something about maybe getting a bit more sleep having a bit of a structured routine around sleep um, maybe just being careful about you know what you're taking in and just you know coming back to the self-love like am I taking in positive uplifting music or um, I don't know if you watch tarot readings, whatever you are taking in, um, what messages are the people around you giving you, what kind of subliminal messages are they sending you, are they supporting you or are they tearing you down every which way, so yeah, so there is a limiting belief that is getting in the way of your, of creating your proper foundation here, and so this week, the positive surprise is that you're actually going to realize, you're going to realize as you take the leap and as you have that strength you'll realize actually it was all an illusion and that you actually um it's like when you face your fears uh when you face your fears you realize how much power they had over you as opposed to how much you actually have over them if that makes sense um and i'm not saying it's always easy right it's not always easy but the more you face your fears the more like there's a process that you kind of get to, you get used to, um, in terms of releasing them. There's something about that. Am I getting sidetracked, Spirit? <laughs> it's interesting, the Eight of Cups has actually come out in all three piles. So you may feel guided to look at all three, like I said before. And there's something about the full moon. So maybe something about, something you're manifesting something you want more of, something you intuitively want more of, more joy, more friends, more uplifting experiences. Once you, I'm getting that once you seek those out, the universe will bring them to you. And uh, maybe it's just, maybe it's just that simple. You know, if you, if you believe that there's not any job opportunities out there, then there won't be any job opportunities out there because that's what you're creating. So, um, Hashtag tough love message. <laughs> um, but if you say to the universe, I'm ready for a new job, bring me one that is this, 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 and this, that is perfect for me in every way, um, and is for my highest good, and it's close to that that 
supermarket or it's on my way to that place or you know close to my home or close to the bus stop I don't know um being specific about your about the things that you want is important here and I feel like I'm getting sidetracked but I also feel like this needs to be said um there may be a need to, or not a need actually maybe there's a new because like he's He's created his own way forward. He's not cre he's not created a conventional bridge to get to where he needs to go. He's bypassing all the things that don't serve him. He's tossed out everything he doesn't need that's weighing him down. And he is following the light. He's using his natural resources to get to where he's going. So there's something about that. So I feel like you've actually, Pile 3, you've got the resources that you need to create something, to move into something new to leap into you have the resources for it and now it's just harnessing that gentle strength is there anything else for pile three spirit that's it pile three have a great week thank you so much for being here and i'll see you in the next one bye